John Keats, an introduction. Keats, the name is synonymous with great romantic poetry and great romantic poets. A short life but a legacy of works that few, if any, can rival. And of course his end was to be tragically romantic. Keats was returning one night to his home in Hampstead when he coughed. He coughed a single drop of blue blood upon his hand and said, I know the colour of that blood. It is arterial blood. It is my death warrant. I must die. And so it was that tuberculosis took its slow, devastating hold. He moved to Rome hoping the warmer climate would help, but died at age 25 in 1821. These poems are read for you by Richard Mitchley and Gazella Rowe. Ode to Autumn by John Keats Season of mists and mellow fruitfulness, close bosom friend of the maturing sun, conspiring with him how to load and bless with fruit the vines that round the thatch eaves run, to bend with apples the mossed cottage trees and fill all fruit with ripeness to the core, to swell the gourd and plump the hazel shells with a sweet kernel, to set budding more and still more later flowers for the bees, until they think warm days will never cease, for summer has o'erbrimmed their clammy cell. Who hath not seen thee oft amid thy store? Sometimes whoever seeks abroad may find thee sitting careless on a granary floor, thy hair soft lifted by the winnowing wind, or on a half-reaped furrow sound asleep, drowsed with the fume of poppies, while thy hook spares the neck swathe and all its twain flowers. And sometimes, like a gleaner, thou dost keep steady thy laden head across a brook, or by a cider-press with patient look, thou watchest the last oozings hours by hours. Where are the songs of spring? <laughs> Ay, where are they? Think not of them, thou hast thy music too, while barred clouds bloom the soft-dying day and touch the stubble plains with rosy hue. Then, in a wailful choir, the small gnats mourn among the river sallows, borne aloft or sinking as the light wing lives or dies. And full-grown lambs loud bleat from hilly bourne, hedge crickets sing, and now with treble soft, the red breast whistles from a garden croft, and gathering swallows twitter in the skies. Bright Star by John Keats Bright star, would I were steadfast as thou art, not in lone splendour hung aloft the night, and watching with eternal lids apart, like nature's patient, sleepless eremite, the moving waters at their priest-like task of pure ablution round earth's human shores, or gazing on the new soft-fallen mask of snow upon the mountains and the moors. No, yet still steadfast, still unchangeable, pillowed upon my fair love's ripening breast, to feel forever its soft fall and swell, awake forever in a sweet unrest, still, still to hear her tender taken breath, and so live ever, or else swoon to death. In Drear Nighted December by John Keats In drear nighted December, too happy, happy tree, Thy branches ne'er remember their green felicity. The north cannot undo them with a sleety whistle through them, Nor frozen thawings glue them from budding at the prime. In drear nighted December, too happy, happy brook, Thy bubblings ne'er remember Apollo's summer look. But with a sweet forgetting they stay their crystal fretting, Never, never petting about the frozen time. Ah, would twere so with many a gentle girl and boy, But were there ever any writhed not at passed joy, The feel of not to feel it, 
when there is none to heal it, nor none sense to steal it, was never said in rhyme. If by dull rhymes our English must be chained, by John Keats. If by dull rhymes our English must be chained, and like Andromeda the sonnet sweet fettered in spite of pained loveliness, let us find out if we must be constrained, sandals more interwoven and complete to fit the naked foot of posy. Let us inspect the lyre and weigh the stress of every chord, and see what may be gained by ear industrious and attention meet. Misers of sound and syllable no less than Midas of his coinage, let us be jealous of dead leaves in the bay wreath crown. So if we may not let the muse be free, she will be bound with garlands of her own.